How about him, cowboy? Angry cowboy stand on your town to lie. What's going on, Cowboy Nation and angry Cowboy fans around the world? Y'all know who it is. It's your boy, the Angry Cowboys fan. Beating a dead horse because the four and three letter networks won't stop talking about the contract situation and absence when it comes to certain players on our Dallas Cowboys. So if you're DC for life and can't wait until the Cowboys give the talking head something good to talk about, drop a like on the video, share this content, and please subscribe to the channel. Oh boy, the first day of OTA has come and gone. Volunteer OTAs, I might add. Here we are listening to the Angry Cowboys fan because NFL Live had something to say about CD Lamb not showing up. They even talked about, you guessed it, the Dak Prescott contract negotiations. I know, shocker, right? Swagoo and Tim Hasselback talk about those two topics. So we're going to take a listen to the three clips that I got for you, Cowboys Nation, and you know what we're going to do after that. We're going to come back and unpack my raw and uncut. So, angry Cowboys fans, let's go ahead and take a listen. Like the reality is like yeah. you, you, he's got all this leverage he, and you've got to, you know, you want to extend him, but... It's not going to be cheap because of the situation you've put yourself in. Okay, well, he might become available to, to the rest of the league that is in uh, need of a quarterback. Well, where are you going? What are you doing if you're the Dallas Cowboys and he's mm. not your guy? Because you're going to be too good to be drafting at the top. So be careful where, he, where you know how much you want to play this out. Something funky is going on with my mouse, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, see, this is the question that I have for Jerry Jones and everyone else who says that we need to let go of Dak Prescott. What is the better option currently? Who can come in this organization and command the team better than number four right now or even next year? And I mean the players the Cowboys could actually get. I've seen some Cowboys fans talk about, you know, comparing Dak Prescott to Patrick Mahomes and everything, even though Patrick Mahomes will never be a Dallas Cowboy anytime soon. So in the comment section, name me five quarterbacks that are attainable right now that will get the Dallas Cowboys to the playoffs and past where Dak Prescott has led this team. Who can get second team all pro? Who can make a pro bowl? Who can lead the league in touchdowns? Who can be second in QBR? I'd say I'll wait, but some of us got lives and we ain't got time for all that mess. If we can't do it with stats like Dak Prescott, ain't no way we're doing it with a backup or a mid-level game manager. In the next clip that I got for you, Tim Hasselback dropped some jewels about C.D. Lamb. So we're going to take a listen to what Tim Hasselback had to say, and then we're going to come back and talk about it. Go ahead, take it away again, Mr. Hasselback. For, for this time of year, I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Look, it, he knows the offense. Uh, he'll come in. He's got great chemistry with Dak Prescott. Um, look, he needs to, you know, the uh, holdout isn't going to be something that, that he's going to want to stomach. And the reality, too, is that, We'll probably catch over 100 balls this year and so mm. with that being the case okay I, I think i think they'll be fine this time of year not, is not the big story the big story will end up being all right does he have a great year and are they able to resign him did you hear the level of urgency in tim hasselbeck's voice there's no urgency when it comes to these otas these volunteer otas if we're coming up on week number one of the regular season and he still hasn't shown up, then the Dallas Cowboys have a problem. Right now, stop milking the Dallas Cowboys for more stories. This is why some fans cannot stand the Dallas Cowboys. I'll talk about that in my raw and uncut portion. So make sure you stick around for that. 
And the last clip that I got for you, Swag Goo gives his take on the whole situation. Dak Prescott's deal and CD Lamb's deal. So let's take a listen to Swag Goo and then we're going to come back and unpack my raw and uncut. Take it away, Swag Goo. To what we just talked about, it has a little bit to do with Dak Prescott. You at least want to have a number one wide receiver on your roster when you may be losing your quarterback after this year. Um, so I, if I'm Dallas, look, like I said about Dak, I'm I'm trying every day to figure out how we can get a deal done. But with C.D. Lamb, I think it's just the timing and the technicality. They have to re-sign C.D. Lamb. You mean to tell me you could potentially go into a season, if you Dallas, potentially losing C.D. Lamb and Dak Prescott? Out of your mm. mind if you think that's going to happen. Hey. They will at least get the receiver locked up and try to figure out Dak Prescott's situation. Get them signed, Cowboys. Whether it's Dak Prescott or C.D. Lamb, get one of them signed so you can add more to the cap because I got a sneaky suspicion that we're going to need more free agents after the post-June 1st cuts. Let's free up some cap space so that we can go shopping after June 1st. Y'all ready for my raw and uncut? Y'all ready? Let's get it. Angry Cowboys fans, this is going to be the type of reporting we're going to get from the four and three letter networks until training camp gets rolling. The same old stories about Dak Prescott and how the Dallas Cowboys don't want him because they haven't extended him yet. Never mind CeeDee Lamb hasn't inked the deal or they haven't extended him yet. They just don't want Dak Prescott for some reason. Whatever it takes to keep the lights on, I guess. I do know this is yet another reason why the Dallas Cowboys are so despised. I remember when the Kansas City Chiefs won the Super Bowl, but people were too busy talking about Jerry Jones and the Dallas Cowboys. Would they be keeping Mike McCarthy? Will they be keeping Dak Prescott? Will Dan Quinn get a head coach a position somewhere else? To keep it a buck? The Philadelphia Eagles might have won the offseason when it comes to football, but the Jones family won the offseason when it comes to its brand being talked about by the media. They succeeded by having the Dallas Cowboys talked about each and every day. The four and three letter networks sending the Dallas Cowboys to every football fan's living room, wanted or not. So, it doesn't surprise me that NFL Live continues to milk this cow for what it's worth because it's worth $9.2 billion if I'm not mistaken. We are where we are as an organization because of the organization. Not because Dak Prescott threw two picks against the 49ers and the Green Bay Packers. We're not here because we didn't have a run game that was comparable to the pass. We're not here because we had two and a half men at the starting wide receiver positions. We're not here because we chose to play zone when we played man all year long. We are here because of one family's priorities. Their priorities of money making and not championships. Some will say championships will bring the team more money. Tell that to Jerry Jones. You could tell a kid that he could get more attention with good behavior, but it won't stop him from getting the negative attention. Some to this day think negative attention is attention nonetheless. Jerry said it himself. He wants people talking about the Dallas Cowboys. Why? We haven't done much outside of the regular season. Right now, the Dallas Cowboys are forging a legacy of being the best regular season team in history. King shit on Turd Mountain. Who gives a damn? I think we need to work on our own legacy. We love the Cowboys from the 70s and the 90s because they brought us championships. We loathe Tony Romo's Dallas Cowboys and now Dak Prescott's Dallas Cowboys because they haven't done what the majority of Cowboys quarterbacks have failed to do in their entire history. Let's turn that around, Cowboys. The first thing we need to do is change the culture around the organization. Change it from a culture of money to a culture of winning. And that starts with having faith and signing your all pro players. While it isn't Cowboys Nation's birthright to be in the Super Bowl, it would feel so much better to be able to at least break the chain of disappointment. A disappointment that has lingered for almost 30 years. This has been your boy, the 
Angry Cowboys fan. What did you think about what Tim Hasselbeck and Swagoo had to say? Do you believe a deal would get done with both Dak Prescott and C.D. Lamb before the regular season? Let's have that conversation in the comment section. If you're digging the content and you want to get it out to even more Dallas Cowboy fans, drop a like on the video and share this content with your friends who are Cowboys fans. If you're DC for life and want to help the channel reach its goal of 10,000 subscribers before the regular season starts, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified whenever I go live, release a video, or a podcast episode. Also, I got to give a shout out to the newest members of the Angry Cowboys Fan Channel membership. Mojo, Jojo, Monstar Villain, David J, and James Barnes. I truly appreciate y'all joining the channel membership. I will be releasing exclusive content for the members only as well. So for $2 a month, you can join the channel membership. Just hit that join button and let's get going. I think it's about time that the four and three letter networks stop talking about the Dallas Cowboys. That would test a whole lot of things that would test to see if the network could stay above water without mentioning the Cowboys. And it would show Jerry Jones that winning is more important, not just the name of the team. This has been your boy, the angry Cowboys fan. And I'm out.